week so he didn't have to go to foster care. She was at work when she got the call. Her 10-year-old had been shot and was being taken to a hospital where she later died. Fox 8 crews were on the scene last night as the blue lights flashed outside the home. The crime scene tape has cleared, and what remains now is a memorial with balloons and candles on the street sign at the corner of Roach Street and Circle Drive. Nikki, law enforcement officials say that autopsies confirm that couple and their three children all died from gunshot wounds. The Milligan house at the end of Hebron Court is quiet Saturday. Really, really nice family, and uh, there was no hint whatsoever of anything. Neighbors trying to wrap their heads around Friday morning's discovery where Cecil County Sheriff's deputies found five bodies. A terrible day for our county and community. The Sheriff's Department says 39 year old Marcus and 37 year old Tara Milligan were found dead. Children, 14 year old Teresa, 11 year old Nora, and 8 year old Finn Milligan were also killed. It's very sad and tragic. Three beautiful children. Neighbors told WJZ the family moved in about two years ago. The family was a remarkable, beautiful Much family. Much information about the Austin Gordon investigation, but as you can imagine, his mother is hurt and she is searching for answers. And she tells us that the incident did happen here in the county and she's calling on the sheriff's office to open up a homicide investigation. So she also goes on to tell us that the shooting happened over the weekend. And and she says that he died the day after his birthday. Now, Tanya Wilkerson also tells News Channel 5 her son was hanging with four other teens around 5.30 last Saturday morning when her son was shot in the head with a 9mm handgun. Now, a mass shooting overnight at a party near Old Dominion University. Norfolk police say two young people are dead and five others are injured. The shooting happened right around midnight. Police say four women and three men were found at the scene suffering from gunshot wounds. 25-year-old Zabri Miller and 19-year-old Angela McKnight died from their injuries. Norfolk State University says several of the victims were NSU students. McKnight was a pre-nursing major at the university. Community members came together today to ask for an end to the gun violence. Let us work together to uplift our communities, bring our people together, and stop the census violence that we have. A spokesperson for ODU says none of the victims were ODU students. No arrests have been made in connection to the shooting.